questions. What do you think makes the physics funny, or is it just a sitcom that happens to be based on physics? I'm going to say the latter. I really do. I, I mean, the good thing about uh, science is that it's, it, it does involve everything. You know, science involves everything. So your, your possibilities are endless as far as topics. But I, don't, I do feel it's somewhat secondary. The, what, what it's done is it, the science is, in this case, the reason that these guys are um, not outcasts, but, but, but that's what makes them separate, you know. Their, their, their intelligence, their, such high, and these are geniuses, and, and they're focused on science, and that's what makes them um, it's not the underdog either, but just the, the they're different, and 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 that's what their strong focus in science is what keeps them as somewhat strangers in perhaps societal life as we know it as more average people. Um, but but I think that's just what it happens to be in this case. I purchased a Physics 101 book. It was literally called that. The Smithsonian Printing Press or something puts it out right before we started because I thought, well, why not acquaint yourself with something scientific? <laughs> and it, the only thing it served to do, which I guess was worthwhile, is that to show me how special these characters are, I cannot get my brain around it. I, I, I the, These guys, or these are characters, but people who are, are excel in these fields... They have minds that are built to do it, you know. Indeed. Um, now, now let's talk about the personality of the guys that do it. Okay. You, you play a character shell with a very, um, I was, I, I could either say particular or peculiar, and neither yeah. one is meant as an insult. I believe me, I hear you. Personality. Mm -hmm. How do you describe Sheldon? Um, I always say first and foremost he's a genius because it really is the crux of what we're dealing with here and we were t talked about it again and again when we first started by the producers like we're yes people will pick up on the nerdy they're going to pick up on the geeky what we will really want to impress upon everybody and upon you doing this is that we're really doing this these are beautiful minds you know that's what this story is about so he is he's a beautiful mind he's a genius. But in Related addition, to that, it, it, that 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 thrust him. The backstory, it seems, from what we've heard, is that you know it thrust him into school early. It thrust him into teach. It thrust him out of a life of mingling with more ordinary everyday people, and it is it 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 cro makes him somebody who is both clueless and somewhat socially naive. You know, he only knows to call a situation as he sees it because that's, that's the science, you know, that's the, we've got to deal with the facts and it makes him somewhat of an impolite guest at times, you know, to have uh, for company because he'll, he'll, he'll call it. Um, it's not malicious, although he can be snarky at times. And I should also bring up rock, scissor, papers because oh, rock, scissor, uh, what a nightmare. <laughs> this is, is a game that many of us learned in childhood. You guys have Not elevated quite this it. This version, no, yes. you have elevated it to high camp. Yeah. Oh God, I was talking about this yesterday. I said one, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to memorize on the show. Beyond all the science, beyond all the words, there were no hard words in that. But I have no. I have no deep understanding of that game. I so we should just tell the, the, okay. the one or two viewers who may actually not have seen the show well, what rock, we're talking paper, about. Rock, paper, scissors, as we all know, or the, most of us know, is, you know, you put out your hand, the fist being the rock, the two piece sign being the scissors, the flat hand is the paper, and the scissors can cut the paper. So if I hold out the scissors, you hold the paper, I win. Rock uh, crushes the scissors. Right. Um, and, and this is a, cut paper. This is a standard this is thing standard. that we all do to pick is, one, two, three, that's whatever. That's exactly And this, right. by the way, is something you played as a child? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay, fine. I would play it now if somebody was really bored and we had nothing to do. <laughs> um, not for long. But um, the additions that these guys have made, and, and, and I, from what I understand, this is, this is real. You know, there are real tournaments in real life. So there are this actual not made science up, made geeks up. who have made oh, the, yes. do this. Yes. Okay, There's cool. a rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Now what happens is, and I'm going to try to remember, lizard eats paper. And scissors can kill lizard because you can cut its head off. And rock can crush lizard. Um, and Spock. Oh, God. Now, I, you... I just have to tell our listeners, this yes. is so funny for me to sit here and watch you because I've now watched <laughs> the show. And when you do it on air, when you do the show, in the it one just good comes take. fly in the one That's good take. Right. Fine. <laughs> it comes flying out. And I agree with you. I, I can't keep track. This guy... Ladies and gentlemen, Me. Jim Parsons, <laughs> the star, one of the stars of the Big Bang Theory, 
is sitting here and he cannot remember. I'm a fumbling puddle of tears is. This in is front of you. This is not scripted. This is no, a riot. This is, well, I, I, this is my point about it and why it was so hard for me um, is because I don't, I have no connection to it. You know, I could basically get through to talking about rock, paper, scissors with you. Once we get to the lizard Spock, I have no deep understanding of and this. And with good reason because well, it's thank insane. You. Okay. thank you. Okay. And now, by the way, you say the other, the, all the long words, all the scientific yes. terms, you have no problem memorizing that? Well, well, I mean, there's some effort put in, but it, but no, I mean, it's it, I, I, I don't know if it's shameful. To say, it's very much rote memorization at that point, you know. And uh, once I get that down, I can kind of quote unquote play with it, you know, and have it come out in the moment and see, oh, that's what Sheldon's doing, because <laughs> uh, it's frequently a mystery to me at first as well. 